Extinguish my eyes, I'll go on seeing you. Seal my ears, I'll go on hearing you. And without feet I can make my way to you. Without a mouth I can swear your name. Break off my arms, I'll take hold of you. With my heart as with a hand. Stop my heart, and my brain will start to beat. And if you consume my brain with fire, I'll feel you burn in every drop of my blood. We need, in love, to practice only this, letting each other go. For holding on comes easily. We do not need to learn it. Love consists of this, two solitudes that meet, protect, and greet each other. I hold this to be the highest task of a bond between two people, that each should stand guard over the solitude of the other. That's love. Two lonely persons keep each other safe and touch each other and talk to each other. This is the miracle that happens every time to those who really love. The more they give, the more they possess. Let everything happen to you. Beauty and terror, just keep going. No feeling is final. If you are patient in one moment of anger, you will escape a hundred days of sorrow. Our heart always transcends us. I want to be with those who know secret things or else alone. I live my life in widening circles that reach out across the world. The future enters into us in order to transform itself in us long before it happens. Live your questions now, and perhaps even without knowing it, you will live along some distant day into your answers. Find out the reason that commands you to write. See whether it has spread its roots into the very depth of your heart. Confess to yourself you would have to die if you were forbidden to write. Have patience with everything that remains unsolved in your heart. Live in the question. The work of the eyes is done. Go now and do the heart work on the images imprisoned within you. The purpose of life is to be defeated by greater and greater things. You are not too old, and it is not too late to dive into your increasing depths, where life calmly gives out its own secret. The only journey is the one within. Only someone who is ready for everything, who doesn't exclude any experience, even the most incomprehensible, will live the relationship with another person as something alive and will himself sound the depths of his own being. Ah, how good it is to be among people who are reading. Make your ego porous. Will is of little importance. Complaining is nothing. Fame is nothing. Openness, patience, receptivity, solitude is everything. Let life happen to you. Believe me, life is in the right, always. Think of the world you carry within you. Embrace your solitude and love it. Endure the pain it causes 
and try to sing out with it, for those near to you are distant. Do not assume that he who seeks to comfort you now lives untroubled among the simple and quiet words that sometimes do you good. The necessary thing is after all but this, solitude, great inner solitude, going into oneself for hours meeting no one, this one must be able to attain. May what I do flow from me like a river, no forcing and no holding back, the way it is with children. If we surrendered to Earth's intelligence, we could rise up rooted, like trees. Instead, we entangle ourselves, in knots of our own making, and struggle, lonely and confused. So like children, we begin again, to fall, patiently to trust our heaviness. Even a bird has to do that before he can fly. This is what the things can teach us, to fall, patiently to trust our heaviness. Even a bird has to do that before he can fly. Yet, no matter how deeply I go down into myself, my God is dark, and like a webbing made of a hundred roots that drink in silence. If you will stay close to nature, to its simplicity, to the small things hardly noticeable, those things can unexpectedly become great and immeasurable. I live not in dreams, but in contemplation of a reality that is perhaps the future. Everything is blooming most recklessly. If it were voices instead of colors, there would be an unbelievable shrieking into the heart of the night. Most people come to know only one corner of their room, one spot near the window, one narrow strip on which they keep walking back and forth. Shattered people are best represented by bits and pieces. But there is much beauty here, because there is much beauty everywhere. <laughs>